I'm Effie and this is What Effie Reads. Today marks the start of Do The Thingathon, which is the week-long readathon organised by Ashley over at Frolic Through Fiction. The prompt for this week is essentially whatever goals you've set yourself you work towards. So things like 21 in 21 or wanting to read 100 books this year, that kind of thing, you work towards this week. So I am going to be focusing primarily on reading a couple of books from my 21 in 21. Um, it will be House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas, which I started last week, so I've got about 600 pages left, and Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor, which I haven't started at all, but I'm hoping to finish in its entirety this week. I also have a secondary goal of wanting to catch up on all of the book reviews that I've neglected. Um, I use Storygraph and I don't think that I have actually done any book reviews or ratings this month. I decided that I want to do one, even if it's very brief, for every book that I read. So I need to catch up on that. I feel like I've been trying to read House of Earth and Blood all day today. And it's just not happening. I just can't focus on it. Um, I'm having to self-isolate for a couple of days as my husband's unwell. So I think that's kind of playing on my mind a little bit. But I'm just, just not getting stuck into it at the moment. I don't know if it's this book specifically. Or if my head's just not in the place for reading. But thankfully there's reading sprints every evening this week. So I'm hoping that it's um, it's Leanne tonight. So hoping that kind of kicks, kicks my backside a bit so I can get some reading done. Okay, so I think I am finally getting into Crescent City and enjoying it. Um, spoiler warning for Crescent City, just kind of until the end of this clip, basically. I've just gotten to the bit where Danica finds out that the angel that she saved was Micah, and I did not see that coming at all. Like, yeah... Wow, that's a really cool, I don't know if I'd say twist because it is only still about a quarter of the way through the book, but I, I appreciate it and I'm really interested to see how that plays into what's happening and if it's used as a bargaining chip, presumably, but what for? So it's Saturday afternoon, so do, do the thingathon is almost over and I'm not really sure how well I'm getting on. I am over halfway in Crescent City, but that's about it. I haven't managed to finish any books yet this week, but I guess I shouldn't be too disappointed if all I do is finish Crescent City since it is 800 pages long. It's just a little disheartening to have not finished anything, you know? I don't know if I will finish it though. But I don't have work tomorrow night, so I have the whole day to try and catch up on reading. Just uh, popping in to give a wee bit of an update. It's about half two on the Sunday, so it's the the last day of Do The thing I thought, and I'm up to around about the 550 page mark of Crescent City, 
So I've still got about 250 pages to try and finish before the end of the night, which is potentially doable, but it depends on if I can focus. I have actually finished a book this week. I don't really think it counts towards do the thing a thon, but you know, you set your own goals and it's people in trouble. It's a it's a book that I feel like needs a bit more of a deeper examination because it just wasn't very enjoyable. The each individual character isn't very nice. And then the plot is very meandering. There's a lot of um, irreverence to it, which I appreciated. But I'm currently on the fence about whether I'm just going to unhaul it. Part of me wants to keep it so that I can reread it at some point and hopefully get more out of it. But I don't know. I'm just glad that I have finished it because that's one less thing to distract me from finishing Crescent City and also I'm just like I'm kind of in awe about how many views my Illumicrate um, um, Infernal Devices videos got like it's it's not many compared to you know people that actually have an audience but it's so so many more than I normally get and it's just kind of blowing my mind a bit to be honest so if you watch that thank you very much I am speechless to be honest I managed to finish House of Earth and Blood about 1.30 this morning which means that I didn't technically finish it during Do The thing a -thon. But I'm going to count it as a win because an extra hour and a half is close enough that it feels like I achieved it in time. I don't know. I think in my logic, I could probably pick out an hour and a half at any point during the past week when I probably could have read, but just didn't because... I was so distracted. I also did not manage to update my story graph at all. So I'm not sure if I can really call this past week a win. But I did finish one of my 21 and 21 books. So probably a success. At the end of the day, I, I read and I read an 800 page book, so it's not the worst. I am a little bit disappointed that I didn't get on to Daughter of Smoke and Bone or update any of my reviews. But I guess that's the nature of reading. Sometimes you'll have a good week, sometimes less so. So if you like this video give it a like and please drop me a comment down below telling me if you participated in do the thingathon how you managed to get off on and until next time bye